Hi, welcome to another Jarvis Walker Brands Fishing Tips. We're here on the iconic Sydney Harbour and we're just about to shoot offshore for an afternoon of fishing for snapper on soft plastics. So the plan is to head offshore this afternoon and fish right up until dusk, maybe even a little bit after dark, and then tomorrow morning be back out on the marks before the sun comes over the horizon. We've set up here with a perfect outfit. Seven foot high modulus graphite rods. This one here from Gary Howard. It's a soft tail rod and I personally love this. And the Rovex Revenge series rods as well. We've got the Carbo 40 here on the Gary Howard soft tail rod. And on the Rovex Revenge, we have an XO, again, in the size 40. We're running a 20 pound braid on this and a 30 pound braid on that. And we'll mix it up according to the conditions offshore, depending what leader we want to fish. I love fishing for snapper on soft plastics. It's just so exhilarating. Hopefully we can show you just why. So we're out on the grounds now and I'm just going to thread on a soft plastic. We're fishing in sort of 35 to 40 metres of water in this particular reef. So I've got a half ounce jig head and a 3-0 galvanised hook. You want a really strong hook for the snapper because they've got such strong jaws. I'm fishing with a 7 inch soft plastic. You'll see here this is a jerk shad. It's very straight, bait fish profile. The important thing is that you thread the lure on very carefully and make sure that you do not kink the lure. You want to run it straight down the centre. If you have to start again, don't be afraid to do so. When you're heading offshore, you really want to take a range of jig head weights and hook sizes with you. When I'm fishing for snapper and strong fighting fish like kingfish, I like to use a strong hook, uh, probably in the 3.0 to 5.0. The jig head weights that I like to always take when I'm fishing for snapper are 1 8, 1 quarter, 3 8, half ounce and 5 8 of an ounce. And you're allowing that jig or that soft plastic and jig head just to glide down through the water column. You don't want to give it a jerk, you don't want to give it really any action at all. You're basically imitating a bait fisher that has been wounded and is you know, either swimming back down to the bottom or sinking back down to the bottom. Net. Ah, don't worry about the net. Came up tight on a red rock cod. It's got the adrenaline rushing. They haven't got too big a teeth on them. One thing you make sure you don't want to do is get spiked by them. So when you grab on, grab on firmly. Hook should come out pretty easily. Whenever I come out fishing, I like to have a range of different leaders. Uh, if you're fishing for snapper, then you know, 15, 20, 30 pound. Always I go for the Rovex Mono first because I just find it's supple, it ties great knots. Um, sometimes then if it's, you know, the fish are being really finicky, I'll change to the fluorocarbon. Or if I'm fishing in areas where I need a line that's highly abrasion resistant, I'll go for the Core or the 10X. Uh, they've just got a harder coating and uh, they just stop abrasion that much better than the other lines. When you feel this, that little bit of weight or even when the snapper starts to take off and the line starts dumping, keep winding until, the, keep winding until you know that you've actually got that fish firmly hooked. <gasps> no! Hook wasn't in. That's why I said wind, 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 wind. I thought I'd wound far enough. Just started to pull weight. That's snapper fishing for you. Let's make another cast. I really like seven foot high modulus graphite rods. This is my favorite outfit at the moment. The Gary Howard soft tail uh, and it's matched with a inshore smoke reel and from the Quantum brand. When it comes to the habitat that you want to fish for snapper in New South Wales and on the East Coast, you're really looking for offshore environs where there is some hard reef bordered by sand and gravel. Uh, in the summer and autumn months, you're very specifically going to be fishing in those areas where there's large undulating rises. You know, some people might call them bommies. I just see them as hard reefs. Some of them are granite, some of them are sandstone and they're going to be anywhere from sort of seven meters out to 30 or 40 meters. So come out, drive up, not across the reef that you want to fish, drive up and around it, position yourself and then switch the engine off and allow the boat to drift back down over the reef nice and silently. 
Then what I want to do is once I know which direction I'm drifting, I want to cast downdrift. Not immediately downdrift or directly downdrift, but 45 degrees to one side, just so I'm splitting the difference. So I'm casting ahead and a little to the side of the boat so that I allow that lure to fish all the way down to the bottom and I'm not drifting over it and spooking the fish with the boat itself. Once you've hit the water, it's really very, very simple technique. And that is basically just to keep the slack from gathering on the water surface. All you want to do is watch that slack and just gently retrieve it, wind it back, keeping just a slight belly of line between the water surface and your rod tip. I think we've just got another Sergeant Baker or a rock cod here, but what have we got coming up down here? No, it's a Sergeant Baker. Big gob on them for swallowing prey. Fairly aggressive demersal feeder. They love soft plastics. There's a little ready. I might have the net. Not a big specimen, but he is a legal snapper. That's why I love this time of night. Now look at that. See, that might have been what happened before. Big fish turned pop. You know, who knows? I say he looks like dinner. He's definitely legal. And uh, I might pop him in the esky and get this lure back in the water. The Rovex Revenge series are on the market for about $99. Might be a little ready. Yeah, it's a little platy. <sighs> Woo, look at that. Fresh Sydney snapper. I just love fishing for these fish. We're starting to get a little bit of a feed. Just don't stop whining. I don't reckon he's even properly hooked yet. This is why you need quality gear. So you can really put the pace on when the fish comes towards you. He's a while off, man. Oh, he's a little bit bigger. Well, just bring him around. This guy's just a touch bigger. The hook's fallen out though. So I don't even know that he was necessarily hooked. Slightly better fish. Almost came to the boat green. Well, I guess he did come to the boat completely green. But as soon as this fish got in the net, that hook fell out. So you can see there's just a little prick there where he was probably hooked. Lucky me. Woo. Well, I'm pretty happy with myself. Happy that we've been able to show you how to catch these small snapper inshore. The exact same technique works on the big guys. You just got to be persistent. Quality tackle makes all the difference. Braid, good leader, good reel, good rod, long casts, shallow water, good undulating ground, and the snapper will be there. You've just got to persist until you find them. We hope you've enjoyed watching this Jarvis Walker brand's fishing tips on catching snapper on soft plastics. And we'll look forward to seeing you again next time you're on the water. For more information on Quantum, Rovex or Gary Howard fishing products, go to jarviswalker.com.au.